a few days before mr imran khan prime minister of pakistan was to leave for russia his government made a special deal with the terrorist organization ttp according to a pakistani journalist iftikhar fidoz pakistani authorities have released 46 tehreek-e taliban pakistan's prisoners on guarantee that the process will lead to ceasefire and halting of attacks This brings the total number of TTP terrorists freed in last few days to 76 out of 102 which were initially demanded by TTP as a condition for full ceasefire negotiation. The talks had earlier begun in December but due to some misunderstandings the talks could not be continued. However, the talks are now back on track. Majority of the prisoners released are from the lower cadre. There were at least 4 meetings held between January and February this year between Pakistan's government and the terrorist organization TTP. Now the million dollar question is if Pak army was really doing well in a war against TTP then why is it negotiating for a ceasefire by giving away prisoners? One of the key demands by TTP release of two high profile terrorists serving death row Muslim Khan and Mahmood Khan. one of them a former spokesperson of ttp and the other an operational commander since it is pakistan we can expect presidential pardon to these terrorists too now let us focus on the relationship between ttp and the afghan taliban the current ttp chief nurwali mahsud had said that his group is a branch of islamic emirate of afghanistan He made the state in an hour long video that documented his entourage travel in a large military convoy across what TTP claims to be Pakistan's northern areas. As per the video released in 2021, he had visited TTP headquarters in different districts and towns of Pakistan. The video also includes several vehicles which belong to Afghan police. So how did TTP manage to get vehicles which belong to Afghan police unless it was gifted to them by Afghan Taliban If the video was recorded in Pakistan then the next question is where was Pakistan's military But if the TTP chief is lying and this video was instead recorded recorded in Afghanistan it then means that TTP enjoys the backing of Afghan Taliban Recently Taliban supported social media accounts had released political map showing parts of pakistan as its own territory and the capital of the united islamic emirates of afghanistan to be kabul now going back to the history of ttp insurgency and the aps massacre ehsanul ehsan who once upon a time was the spokesperson of ttp was the mastermind behind aps massacre and he was arrested in 2017 but he managed to escape in january 2020 from a safe house which was being guarded by the pakistan army the circumstances of his arrest as well as his escape remain shrouded in mystery following his escape two senior army officers of the pakistan army including one colonel and one major and 10 other subordinate ranks are facing military trial so how did he escape from pakistan safe house in peshawar Was it due to the incompetency in maintaining security, or did Asanullah Asan know something that gave him the bargaining power? Or why else would the elements in Pakistan Army let the man responsible for APS massacre escape? Early in one of our videos, ex chief of RNAW Vikram Sood had said, "Pakistan has shot itself in the foot by letting Taliban gain control over Afghanistan." and that the game has just begun going by the blunders pakistan's army and government are now making by releasing ttp's prisoners it seems xrna chief was definitely right